This simple biochar and compost hack turns dead soil into black gold. What if you could turn ordinary soil into a rich dark sponge that feeds your crops season after season? What if instead of pouring on fertilizer year after year, your soil could hold on to nutrients and water all by itself? The secret lies in humus, and the fastest way to build it is by pairing biochar with compost in a way that honestly makes your soil come alive. Gardeners often say that humus is like black gold, and, well, they're right. Once you've seen a bed of soil that's loaded with humus, you'll notice the difference immediately. Plants stand taller, roots grow deeper, and moisture lingers longer after the rain. The good news is that you don't need a fancy system to make it happen. With just a little understanding of biochar and organic matter, you can set your soil on the fast track to humus formation. Humus is not just compost, and honestly, it's not just rotted organic matter. It's the stable, long-lasting fraction of soil organic matter that resists breaking down any further. Think of it as the end product of decomposition, the dark and crumbly material that holds nutrients like a bank and provides a permanent home for soil microbes. Unlike compost, which eventually disappears as microbes consume it, humus lingers for decades, building the foundation of truly fertile soil. For gardeners, this means less reliance on chemical inputs and more consistent harvests. Humus binds soil particles together, creating structure that holds water without becoming soggy. It stores nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium in forms that plants can access gradually, rather than in a quick flush that washes away. Simply put, humus makes your soil resilient, and resilient soil means healthy crops year after year. So let's dive into what biochar brings to the table. It's often described as charcoal for the soil, but really, it's more than that. Biochar is a carbon-rich material created by heating plant matter like wood chips, crop residues, or nutshells in the absence of oxygen. This process locks carbon in a stable form that won't break down for centuries. It's pretty fascinating, isn't it? Now, the structure of biochar is what makes it so valuable. Under a microscope, it looks like a sponge filled with tiny pores. These pores give soil microorganisms shelter, while also acting as storage units for water and nutrients. On its own, biochar won't feed your plants directly, but it sets the stage for humus to form faster by creating a stable environment where organic matter and microbes can interact more efficiently. Pretty cool, right? Alright, let's talk about avoiding common mistakes. Gardeners who add raw biochar straight into their soil sometimes notice plants struggling at first, that's because fresh biochar can soak up nutrients before plants get to them. The trick is to charge biochar with organic matter before adding it to the ground, and that's where compost comes in. It's all about getting that balance just right. Compost is the workhorse of the garden. It's full of partially decomposed organic matter, teeming with microbes, enzymes, and nutrients. When applied to soil, compost feeds plants right away, while also encouraging microbial life to flourish. However, compost by itself breaks down relatively quickly. Within a few years, most of it is gone, leaving little lasting residue behind. The goal for any gardener should be to convert as much compost as possible into stable humus, rather than letting it disappear into thin air. This is where pairing it with biochar changes everything. Compost provides the food, biochar provides the shelter, and together they lock organic matter into the soil in a form that endures. When biochar and compost are blended, something special happens. The compost fills the pores of the biochar with nutrients and beneficial microbes. Instead of robbing the soil of fertility, the biochar now becomes a delivery system, slowly releasing nutrients while also protecting them from leaching. So, this partnership actually speeds up the process of humus formation. As the organic matter and compost breaks down, the carbon skeleton of biochar stabilizes it, preventing it from vanishing completely. Studies have shown that soils treated with both biochar and compost contain more humus than soils treated with compost alone. In practical terms, this means richer soil, stronger plants, and more reliable yields with less fertilizer input. 
For gardeners, the results can be seen in looser soil that doesn't crust over crops that hold moisture through dry spells and a noticeable increase in earthworm activity. The soil becomes not just a growing medium, but a thriving ecosystem. How to use biochar and compost together. The key is in preparation. Before adding biochar to your soil, it should be preloaded with compost. One simple method is to soak biochar in compost tea or mix it directly into a compost pile. Over a few weeks the biochar absorbs nutrients and becomes colonized with microbes. By the time you spread it onto your beds, it's no longer inert, it's alive. So, a balanced mix often falls in the range of one part biochar to four parts compost, though this can definitely vary depending on your soil type. Sandy soils might benefit from a bit more biochar to help retain moisture, while clay soils may need less to avoid compaction. Once you've incorporated this blend into your garden beds, it's going to create a long-term improvement, not just a quick seasonal boost. Unlike chemical fertilizers that, you know, need to be reapplied constantly, a single round of biochar-charged compost can actually keep working for years. You'll still want to add fresh compost each season, but with biochar in place, more of it sticks around as humus instead of just vanishing. Real results in the garden. Many gardeners who try this method notice immediate changes. After just one season, soils feel springier underfoot and are honestly easier to work with a hoe or spade. During heavy rain, water infiltrates instead of running off, and during dry spells, beds hold moisture longer. Plants not only grow faster, but often show deeper color and greater resistance to stress. On farms, the combination has been shown to increase crop yields while reducing the need for irrigation and fertilizer. For small gardeners, it can mean healthier tomatoes, bigger root crops, and, you know, fewer signs of nutrient deficiencies. These aren't miracles, they're just the natural outcome of building humus more efficiently. Building humus is not just about getting better harvests today, it's also about, you know, securing the future of your soil. Every time humus forms, carbon is locked into the ground instead of escaping into the atmosphere. This makes your garden not just productive, but part of a larger solution to climate challenges. Healthy soil acts like a savings account for nutrients and water. The more humus you build, the less you depend on external inputs and the more resilient your crops become against droughts, floods, and pests. Pairing biochar and compost is one of the most practical ways home gardeners and farmers alike can achieve this. The combination of biochar and organic matter is not a passing trend. It's a proven way to accelerate humus formation and transform soil health. While compost provides the fuel, biochar provides the structure, and together they create conditions that nature can build on year after year. For gardeners who dream of rich, dark soil that almost grows food by itself, this is the pathway. Try it in one bed, watch the results, and you'll soon want to apply it everywhere. Healthy soil isn't built overnight, but with biochar and compost working hand-in-hand, -hand, you'll be surprised at just how quickly humus begins to build beneath your feet.